It's still running, Joe. Keep knocking on wood. Knock on wood. When you get this thing full, that ought to be a good video today. All right, guys. Y'all know it's Monday. Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. And like always, we'll see what he's got. So you guys, come on. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Sorry we keep missing each other, but uh, Clay, do you get taller? Don't say, Joe, did you get shorter? Because that <laughs> wouldn't be funny. <laughs> I don't uh, know. But anyways, um, hope y'all had uh, some good weeks in between here and there. So we're just going to go do this real quick. But we got to. Only because we got to. Peter Christian, three. Okay. So, obviously we've been missing you too, way too long. We have... Nash Neubauer for one. Somebody was asking the other day what the deal with the dollar bills with the name on it. Yeah. So the way it works, Joe, if you make a hundred dollar payment, or you pay for a hundred dollars worth of tools at a time, he takes a dollar out of his pocket, he writes your name on it, it goes in the bucket of cash, and when he gets full, he draws it, and uh, whoever is name I don't draw it. I have a pretty lady draw it. Yeah. And whose ever name gets pulled, gets it off. That's it. And Vinny here, from New York, he brought two to me a bunch of meals at uh, the spot in uh, Savannah, the best place to eat in Savannah. Mm -hmm. I gave him another video our last meal that we had. Uh, thanked him again. Wes Kaiser. One for him, and we have Steve Durin for two more. There you now, go. Steve brought some stuff for his son who's gotten into the business, graduated from school, and he got a few of the tools that he got for himself that he likes so much and got for his son. So, there you um, go. what a great day. Uh, well, somebody always ask every time and we put it in every single video but it's always at the it's end gonna be, what is my phone number that's it joe's phone number is right down here it's 731-412-7295 so there you go that's it and yes he ships tools so i ship them all see, over he so uh to my friend in costa rica no the Kalen islands contact me i have all the stuff you're looking for so Contact me. I'm trying to find your text email so I can contact you. It might be easier if you see the video on. Give me a call, uh, call back. Um, we have some OTC, the big old snap ring player set. Okay. It's a two piece set, but in reality, big ones. You have the different pin sizes. You got three different uh, pin sizes for each of them. One's an inside, one's an outside. Holding them will make you feel like a little kid, won't it? Let me tell you. We can... Hold them up against you real quick, see how big they are. <laughs> There's some big ones out there. Anyway, first we take the nostrils and then we go over and stretch them <laughs> out. But... Yep. If you're working transmission, stuff like that, these are perfect. They yep. get in there, they hold them, they lock them in, and as you see. So. There's some big ones. OTC. And if you do this a couple times, you can get it right the first time. It's got internal and external, I guess. Yep. Yep. Look at that. So how much is them miniature snap ring pliers? Yeah, it looked just a second ago, too. I had to ask you to note it, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, them some big ones. There. We got those here for 
shops and I says you guys gotta see something I got in my shop and one guy says oh you got a, a wet dry vac I'm like what you, you checking with my uh, my FedEx guy before he gets to my house <laughs> he goes well the uh, other guy had it on his in his flyer he didn't have one on his truck oh well, then we got later looking at his flyer it was a six gallon not a nine gallon it was one battery this is a dual battery yeah, that. this yeah. is two eight amp hour batteries that you get with this. You get a dual charger, which is a rapid charger for mm -hmm. those batteries. Um, the big base, all the tubes, everything you need. It's, it's pretty impressive. And uh, it's like 1260. Ooh. It's, it's high, but it's what you're getting. Yep. And it's portable. So those of you that don't want to drag an extension cord, there's your answer. It says two batteries required, and they're and included. included. Yeah. They're included. Because <laughs> nobody wants to go and then later find out they got to buy two 8-amp-hour batteries. You ain't kidding. That'd be a rough, no, rough purchase, wouldn't it? You, you find out why they're, why that thing is so high. But it's it's quite a kit. But here's what you got to see. So... I have this part where the suction goes in turned away so nobody sticks their hand there. They'll get their fingers sucked in there, but put your hand right here and put something there. Put put your hand there, just see uh it blows that hard, it sucks. Yep. It sucks. Did I say that? If it blows walking? that hard, it sucks. If it yep. blows that hard, it's got to <laughs> suck. It sucks. Um, but anyways, that there's nothing but heavy duty. So there we go. What you doing with that little bitty hammer down there? The little bitty hammer? Yeah. That goes with them little bitty snap rings. This here. I don't make you feel like a little kid table. This, this here is Trusty Cook's Big Mama Jamma. So I walked into one, my one shop Friday, and there they, there they were, the shop owners, all sitting with their knees crossed. I says, we're here to test your reflexes. I says, we only need to test them one time. You're either going to have them or you're not. Uh, it's 196 ounce, I believe is what it says, or 14 pounds. I think that's what the 14 is for. But yeah, it's, it's a bad mamma jamma, let me tell you. But yep. it's either go big or go home. That's it. That's we, a horse. We went big. Um, Hundred ninety bucks. Hundred ninety bucks. But yeah. You you say you went big. Mm-hmm. That's a big one. And then we have something else from Milwaukee. This is our new. New bit driver or hex driver. Now, what they have in with this, if you're pulling on to the numbers, see the different torque readings. So on one, you got, it's 1200. Not that I can read that. And then two, you can hear the difference. 2900 and then three you're at 3600 3, pretty fast. I'm thinking the RPM thing is for the drill I think it's 4000 as far as RPM but it's also got the, the newer face that they're going to with the three lights which mm -hmm. I think is spot on the right thing I mean it puts the light right where you need it So this is very new. Uh, part number is 3453-20. Uh, and these are 260 on a bear tool. Whatever happened to their surge drivers? You remember when they come out with them? They're still they're still out there and they're still They kinda like phasing them out or something, they think going back to the regular style. 
I'm not sure. Because wouldn't the surge, like, ain't it hydraulic powered or something? It, the way it, it works? is hydraulic powered. And I'm not sure between that one or this one here, but I just had a surge just last week that I had on here. I knew when they come out, they was going to change the world with the surge, you know, and it's uh, kind of like they come out and then everything went quiet for a little while. I know it's too hard to put in the ratchets and stuff they like that. They may have had a bunch of hydraulic leaks right here. Oh. I don't know. See, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to get political <laughs> talking about oil. Um, That's what it is. I didn't save in the environment. They don't waste the oil. But, any, but anyways, this tool is pretty cool. So, there it is. Nothing but heavy duty. Cool. Cool, um, cool, cool. So, the weekends, I... I work on working hard, trying to work myself to death. But let me tell you, Milwaukee tools. My steel saw needs to go back in the shop. It, mm -hmm. I had it in there, got it back. It's still not working right. The guy fixed something in the carburetor. I was broke. Figured that was it, but yeah. didn't take it through a full test run because it's still not working right. Well, if your steel saw is like mine, it won't crank till you cuss it. Oh no. It, Mine, actually, you got to cuss it a bunch. Actually, when I when I took it out, it it started up right away. So I checked the blade, made sure it's sharp, adjusted, filled all the oils, took all them with me, got down in my, in my holler, and I started working. And it wouldn't run for nothing. It, I, and then it didn't, didn't want to start either. And cussing didn't help. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than trying to work on a tool but, that you need to work with. But anyways, I'll tell you what saved me. Milwaukee hedge trimmer, 9 amp hour, hour battery, Milwaukee pole saw, 9 amp hour battery. So I got both of them, both batteries, because mm -hmm. I don't just tell people I have them. I got the stuff at home because they are heavy duty. Yeah. I spent five hours out there clearing, cutting, and the hedge trimmer. Mm -hmm. Little trees, little shrubs. This was thicker than my thumb that just want to eat you alive. I mean, it's it was like a jungle. I seen Tarzan movies where they're they're cutting through machetes. It's a lot easier what they had to do and what I was going through. Yeah. And five hours later, the hedge trimmer used one bar on that nine amp hour bat, and I used that more than the pole saw. Wow. The pole saw used two bars, but. I'd be using one or I'd be using the other, but mm -hmm. I, I believe well, the post saw uses more energy, but the head trimmer, I, I use a whole lot more cutting through because I had to get through everything to get into it. But I'll show you before and after. I just, know when my pole saw, I've learned this, it'll take you 30 minutes to cut the stuff that you want to cut. And it'll take you three days to pile it all up. Oh, yeah. It's, it's it, it amazing just, how it, much you cut one. It was just land. But anyways, this area in here is where I wanted to cut cut mm -hmm. out. Okay? So. And that's when you got done with it? And this here is how, how much I got done so far. And then I still gotta go back down and around that there corner, but you that there ready field. You're for deer season, ain't you? Well, you know, I, actually, I keep I gotta keep it cleared for the uh, electric company because the power lines go mm -hmm. there. Deer season happens to be in the same way, so <laughs> you know. Joe makes you, shortcuts straight to his well, land. You got you got to keep things in perspective. Everything's got to have a purpose. That's it. Guys, have a great week. Anything you need, let me know. Um, call me, text me, and a lot of times you ask me to get something, I work on getting it, and then if it takes a little bit, your text might get lost, but text me back because a lot of times I'll say, yep, I got it right here, and then uh, there you go. we'll take care of it. All right, guys, Joe's number is right down here at 731. 731- 412-7295. So shoot him a text, give him a call, whatever makes you happy. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that. that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.